everyone, Ali Simeon, Coldwell Banker. Today I want to talk to you about being a for sale by owner, FISBO, we call them. So you have a house and you want to sell it on your own. You put it on the market and you do open houses by yourself because you want to save the commission and you don't want to deal with the real estate agent like myself. So, okay, a lot of people do that. Um, statistically, only 10% of for sale by owners end up selling by themselves. 90% of them, after struggling, trying to do it, they are ending up selling with the real estate agent. But if you decide to do it on your own and you want to you know, give it a chance and try to save that 5-6% that uh, uh, the agents normally charge, you can do that. Now, the thing is, I want you to be aware before you start the process, what do you need to do and who do you need to negotiate with? Are you a good negotiator? Because you will need the skill. First of all, you need to negotiate with the buyer. When the buyer comes in and puts an offer, you need to be, be able to negotiate with them. Secondly, you have to negotiate with the buyer's agent. If the buyer comes with an agent, they represent the buyer only, they only have their interest in mind, and you'll have to be able to negotiate with that buyer's agent. Um, again, sometimes buyers are getting an attorney. Now you have to deal with their attorney. If they know you're not represented by a real estate agent, they might hire an attorney. In some areas of the country, it's automatically. They have to have an attorney to sell this, to, to buy a home. The home inspection companies, the inspector represents the buyer. It's paid by the buyer. So he will find problems with the property. You'll have to negotiate with them. You'll have to um, challenge some of the things that they say the house is lacking or whatever defects they find, whatever. Uh, the termite companies, if there's termite challenges, again, you have to negotiate those. You have to be able to, um, to talk to them and be educated about it. Um, the buyer's lender, if the lender, if the buyer has a loan, again, you have to stay in touch with the mortgage originator that's doing that loan. Make sure you negotiate with them and, and, and keep the process going. There are all kinds of challenges that comes through the process, so you need to be informed, know the process to, to be able to help uh, with it. The, uh, the appraiser, what if the value comes lower? Now you have to challenge it and you need to be educated to make sure you give the appraiser uh, qualified comps to bring the value back up if it came lower. And even if it didn't come lower, at the beginning you have to make sure you tell the appraisal why you think that property is worth what you are asking for and what you actually put it in escrow for. Um, the title company, you have to be able to talk to them, make sure the title is given clear. Um, also the the town, the city, some cities, Pasadena, for example, has a city occupancy inspection. Azusa has one. LA County has one. Uh, the unincorporated areas of LA County. So you have to be able to order those um, reports. If there's permits, you have to make sure you, uh, you're able to give it to the buyer to disclose everything, make sure that's done properly. The buyer's buyer, what if the buyer is an escrow selling his property in order to buy yours? You need to make sure you keep track of that and able to, um, to if there is any problems, to try to solve them. So there is so much into it that you need to deal with. Just make sure you are educated. And before you do, decide to put your property on the market for sale by owner. There's a reason why only 10% are selling themselves and the other 90 are sold by realtors because there is a very complicated process there is so much paperwork that needs to be done and that's why uh, also agents are normally able to sell it for in average about nine percent more than you can sell it yourself so if they sell it for nine percent more that six percent that you're trying to save is it really worth it because you are getting nine percent so you're getting more than what you would have gotten by yourself. That's all I had to say today about for sale by owners. Have any questions? I'm here to answer. If you like what you hear, again, please subscribe to my channel. Follow me on on uh, Instagram. Um, like my page on Facebook. Let's stay in touch. Thank you very much. Bye.